Hello everybody, my name is Rolak. Welcome back to Rune King. In the last episode... What did we do? We did a bunch of side quests. Uh, one side quest was completely useless and didn't get us anything, unfortunately. Um, the other two did get us some coins, so that wasn't too bad. In today's episode, we are finally going to be heading to the Watchtower District. Uh, assembling Fortune's crew, as well as handling another side quest that is in the Watchtower District. And we're also going to be exploring the Watchtower District because we have not been here yet. This place looks a lot better than some other parts of Pilgrimwater. That's the Watchtower District for you. This district is on a higher elevation than some of the slums down. This district is on a higher elevation than some of the slums down below. So the people down below feel like they're being watched, being judged. It doesn't help that Graham had a giant telescope in his place. Not one of your crew. That's right, Graham's place is on the upper level, in the northwest part of the district. He's my navigator. Isabel is on the lower level, in the southeast part of the district. She's a cannoneer, and really good with devices and gadgets. Once we scoop up those two, we should be ready to set sail. It will be nice to meet more friendly faces. I'm sure it will, Brom. Hey, Lore. Nice. Gang wars are bad for business. Okay, that'll be red later. What? I got a dream of being part of something big. Yeah? I just don't know what it is yet. Thinking maybe joining a crew would do it. But I don't like taking orders from no one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure, buddy. Alright, what do we got in here? We got quite a bit. That's kind of like a little mini dungeon that we're going to be doing later. Some more stuff over here. Is there a fishing spot here? No, there is not. There's a lot of chests, though. More lore. Part two of that. One of these days, we're going to have a proper government building here. You remind me of a great warrior queen from the Freljord, Captain Fortune. Oh, really? Can she also shoot a bottle from a hundred yards? Hmm. She probably could. Brom is just along for the ride. <laughs> okay, that's the... Okay, that's the... That. Okay. Are you anything? No. Okay. A lot of barrels and stuff for us to pillage. Okay, looks like he's just down here, so I might as well go and talk to him. Is that him? Finn, is that you? Nay, your stature's too grand to be a little finny, especially drunk man says. Where be me manish? Name's Glass Eye Joe, and you count to me Glass Eye. He slaps his leg and cackles. <laughs> Say, you wouldn't be passing through these parts and want to make a bit of coin, would you? Coin is always good. My crew is on short leave, but we make way to see again soon. Can't seem to track them down, get them ready for work. They should be a meeting spot, but no one's turned up. Don't want to leave me post in case any of them do wander back this way. Can you scout around and see what turns up for me? Praise be, you lads and ladies, he says, and smiles broadly. See, I like to make it a game of things, and there'll be even more coin if in it for you if you both get both the name of the crewmate and what I want to bring them correct on the first try. I need to track down Lin and bring him here this book. You should undercover Slim's whereabouts and bring him this package of rations. Last thing you need to ferret out Finn and hand him his diving gear. Lin, book, Slim, rations, Finn, gear. In case you got a bit of wax in here, remember get both the name and item right on the first try, and there's some extra coin waiting for you. Or my name ain't be Glass Eye Joe. He guffaws and slaps his leg again. We'll get right on it. Okay. Well, charity. Okay. Okay, now we got an extra objective here, so might as well just start exploring the area a bit more. Are you. Are you? Yordle here stares longingly at the water from down below. Sometimes I wonder if it'd be like this creature, if I wonder stuff like that. Are you Lin? Are you Finn? Boss must have sent you. I take you will scout something for me. Uh, diving gear. That's the stuff. Diving gear. Oh, baby, I can really swim with the best of them. I guess I better head over to Glass Eye Joe then. Peace. He says and heads off. Is that another piece of lore over there? It is. That's part three of six. Uh, is there really nothing of actual like, proper merit here? Are you slim? 
Yep, okay. Uh, you were... Uh, which one were you? Oh, God, which one were you? The rations. Yep. <laughs> uh, what is up here? Oh, down. Oh, is this going to be another horrible instance of a map being terrible? So let's see, where are we? Oh, yep, yeah, nope, that's terrible. That's not how you design a map in any way whatsoever. Why would you... Why would you do that? Yeah, just keep it all on the same... Same level. The Freljord family is everything. Everyone always together for survival. Here, it is very different. People come here from all over the world. And they usually come alone. But where are the new families? People coming together in a harsh land, gathering around the fire with newfound friends. <laughs> you got a lot to learn about Bilgewater. Like, I'm not sugarcoating just how terrible this map design is. Because, like, <laughs> it's not good. It's just not good. It's legitimately possibly the worst map you could ever design in a game. The levels aren't right. The pathways aren't right. Nothing's right about it. Chief Torvald's cookbook, Coconut Hagfish. Hmm. Um. N no, I'm, I'm good. Is this just an inn? Just a rest point? Okay. I don't know why we would need to do that, but... All right. Are you Lynn? Uh, book. Yes. Okay, good. Alright. Yes. Okay, we're all good. <laughs> six out of six. Like, I don't... Like, okay, this one's a little bit better. Because there's a sizable gap in between. But it's still not good. Problem I suggest? Whoa! Oh, enemies. Another day, another fight. Okay, um... Sure, yeah, let's let's fight some enemies. I don't know if we fought these ones before, but, eh, why not? There we go, that's a good way to get a battle started. Well, you're stealthed, but unfortunately... <laughs> I don't need to worry about that. Yeah, no, so stealthed is... Stealth is a bit of a tricky subject in this game. Primarily because... It's... It's kind of broken and doesn't really work right. If you have stealth, enemies can't target you. However, you can still be hit by AoE effects. Also, unfortunately, there is something that happens when it's just like a 1v1, which we will demonstrate much, much later. Trust me, it's, it's really, really stupid. And I honestly hate how the mechanic what works for that matter. Well, these guys are of close to equal level, so it should be a bit more experience. Not as much, though. So, that's been unfortunate. I didn't even see that guy come at me. And there's a couple more enemies over there. Chef Torval's cookbook forward. Torval. Why does that name sound familiar? Yeah, it probably is. Hey, a chest. Give me my chest. Saboteur, I believe you're new. Do we have to deal with you first? Okay. So not necessarily, but we should probably kill you first anyways. I need to fight Brom first. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. Alright. Brom having poison isn't too great. Temp... Uh, Oh, wait, 75% health? Bam! There we go. <laughs> okay, what are you doing? What? Destroys himself accidentally? Uh... Is that what you're doing? Okay, it's not. 
What blade? You're throwing bombs. You're practically zigs. <laughs> Yeah, this, uh, burn. These effects really aren't great. I need to remember, or at least figure out, when Alawi gets cleanses. Because if we get that going, then that could be really, really good for everybody. Have I shown off Fortune's ult? I think I have. Like her new ult. Like her current ult, I should say. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, why not? Is lit. And we'll do this. Bangity bang, 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 bang. Only two people. Wonderful. I love randomly I'm selected abilities. <laughs> How ineffective they always are. <laughs> Just love it. Uh, b -b -b Might as well hit you like that. Have Brom deliver a big smackdown. Like strike from ice Hit the other one, please. Thank you. Have done that. And bam. There we go. Hardly worth the ammo. Alrighty. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ionian ring and a brawler's chain. Ooh. All right. So what do we got? Stamina crit. Ooh, that's probably good on Yasuo. Yeah. So, hell yeah, it is. Up the crit. Yeah. And a brawler's chain. Bonus damage and haste. Uh, yeah. Fortune does pretty high damage alone without the need for crit. So I think we're good for that. Really need to sell a bunch of stuff and ready to claim for fortune. Hell yeah. So we'll get that done. Another rune for fortune. Alright. Um, do we have enough? Should we... Ignites. Ooh, that's really good. Recovery time on a killing blow. Evading attack with grand 20 overcharge. Let's do that. Recovery time by half on a killing blow. That's, that's really good. Perhaps this place could use some more furnishings. Got any ideas? I was thinking perhaps a mountain here. And some snow all around there. Brom. <laughs> Brom. Buddy. Friend. My guy. My, sub my, my main support. In League. Do you understand how <laughs> terraforming <laughs> works? I don't even think terraforming is the correct term to be using there. Because that's not really what it is. <laughs> Furnishing, I should say. is. Do you know what? If, yeah, whatever. Okay. Let's go talk to Glass Eye Joe. Get a reward. Hopefully, a bonus reward as well for getting it right. Derelict and Duty Slayers. McCruise will return to items. Alright. Is that it? 400 gold for getting it all right? What is. I feel like a lot of the side quests are mostly just to get gold. Because so oftentimes I can't remember if we actually get anything actually good from him, so. Yeah, a little a little disappointed. Are you You are the quest objective in the ordnance storehouse. Okay. Definitely an ordnance storehouse with all those cannons up there. This is the house, but where's Isabel? Hello? Who's there? I won't let you kidnap me. Isabel, are you in there? Locked. What are you doing? Stop trying to open the door. I'm warning you. Isabel, it's me, Sarah Fortune, your captain. I'm ordering you to open this door and rejoin the crew. That's exactly what a kidnapper would say. Come on, don't you recognize my voice? Yeah, but what if you're using a Hextech TRK8 proto recorder to make you sound seem like your misfortune? <laughs> I see through your tricks. I'm not going to let myself end up like poor Graham. No way. Come, Sarah. Let us just break the door down. <laughs> No dice, it's iron barred. We'd have an easier time breaking down the walls. So have to find another way around. Alright. Um, okay. No, can I take the plank? Thank you. Make ourselves some bridges. That's going to be the mechanic of this area. Another piece of lore. Is this from the continuation? Magnum Opus. Hmm, okay. 
be reading that soon. That's a trap. Thankfully, a very delayed trap, so we don't have to worry about that. Why does a storehouse have traps? Isabel. I swear, I leave that cannon near it for five minutes, and when I come back, she surrounds herself with traps. Yeah, a lot of traps for us to deal with. That is not easily seen. How do you... Is that supposed to be there? I feel like that barrel's not supposed to be there. Oh, good lord. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Marauder's Pauldron. Hmm. Is that any better? A little better. Agility, which is nice. Kind of lowers the defense a bit. Um, negative haste. I didn't even realize that. Uh, I'll hold on to this for now. Until I can find a better like upgrade for it. River King's Blessing. Hmm. Until I can find like a better or like just a better enhancement for it, I think I'll stick with what we got. Okay. Looks like a dead end. Seems that your cannoneer has crafted the perfect trap, Sarah. Isabel may be paranoid, but she isn't stupid. There has to be a way through. We just need to look closer. While misfortune leads the party, you scan to activate her treasure sense, allowing you to see hidden paths and useful items. As far as I can remember, this is the only instance in the entire game where something like this happens. I'm not too sure if it is, but it is used very, very sparingly throughout the game. Fortune's Telestone's record. Also, this... Don't think you're supposed to get this yet. Because this is detailing with characters that aren't even a part of the party yet. So, yeah. I feel like we're not supposed to have that yet. I feel like we're a bit too early on that. Alright, take the plank. Alright. Some more bridge work stuff. Take that. Place it there. Take it. Take it. Or we didn't have to unplace it, I guess. Take it. Place it. Place it again. Can I take the other one off? No, that one's forever going to be there. Okay. I'll take this one. Place it. Place it again. And we got ourselves a chest. No. Open the chest. Open the chest. There we go. Bolt guns. Are those any better than what we got? Blood lane. 20% chance to make the target bleed for 92 damage over 90 turns. That's not bad. It lowers our other stats down a little bit, but... Ooh, it lowers our attack. No, never mind. Good lord. That's a lot of damage down. Did I not take this plank anymore? Nope, that plank is locked in for some reason. Okay, and now it's forever going to be there. Cool. Grocery list. Okay. Oh, there was also another thing to claim, apparently. For Yasuo. Nice. Uh, what can we get for Yasuo? Anything of good? Here's by 15%. Treasure over there. Uh, attack by 5%. Right, I gotta use the damn thing. Um... Yeah, let's get the crit chance up. Maintaining high crit chance is definitely what you should be doing with Yasuo. More traps. Just my luck. Click. Okay. Nothing happened. Looks like a little trap maker has run out of tricks. Or, you know. Just something we haven't noticed yet. This chest is floating. This chest is not on the ground. I can see that it is very much floating. Wonderful. Chain of neon coral. Is that any good than what we got? Bonus damage and stamina. Nope, it's what Olawi has, in fact. Okay. I really need to just, like, go over my inventory and see exactly what we need. So, was that actually? Okay. Sarah, I'm so glad you're here. Just a couple of minutes ago, a couple of thugs from the Dragon Hooks tried to get me to open the door. They were even impersonating your voice. Are, are you going to get them? Oh, it really was you out there, wasn't it? Yes. Yes, it was. Oh, I'm... I'll just go back to the ship now. That sounds like a good idea. 
Well, that's one way to do it. More lore. Morning storm of Bilgewater cereal. Okay. Cereal, whatever you want to call it. Did we get everything in here? Yes. This wasn't really a bunch of a dungeon to begin with. So it was just kind of like a little bonus area. Okay. Uh, let's go southbound. So we can grab some more stuff. Figure out why my legs are starting to hurt. As I readjust myself. Uh, head to head battle. Fortune, Gangplank Fortune has youth, but Gangplank has firepower. But it's just Fortune would win because she's got two guns, but Gangplank got his bigger. Well, if we're talking in league status, well... Who would win? Alright, that'd be tough, actually, because Fortune deals a lot of damage in league, but Gangplank has the barrels. And we'll see. There's a razor fin that's strangely docile. Looks approachable. Pet the razor fin. Yes, you can pet the dog. I see you've met Professor Gilly. She's friendly to any stranger, just not to other Razorfin. Found her all alone when she was a wee pup, but she didn't hiss or attack me. Bottle fed her until she got older, and this is the result. Now I couldn't get rid of her even if I wanted to. Ha ha ha. What a good, good little pup. Go down here, we got a cell another chest. And some more combo. Have I told you the story of how I found my shield? You said it involved a mountain troll. Yes, it was a good troll. But the mountain, it was disagreeable. I had to punch it. Of course you did. Because <laughs> what else is new, Brom? Let's be real here. Ooh, that's a better sailor's jacket. Much better, hell yeah. And up the haste rating. See what I tell you, sometimes you find some things out in the wild that are just, like, too good to pass up. And other times you don't need to spend any money, so, yeah, there's also that. Are you... you're an enemy. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of enemies. Are you ready? I'm not sure if we fought any of these people yet, but they look new, so... Let's have a fight. Oh, that's a good crit, holy shit. Set up a defend. It's so good to have this overcharge right at the start of battle. Uh, let's just shoot you. Probably could have built up. Ooh, yeah, and that lowers down my recovery time. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see. Bam, and then a bam on the same person. Okay, that's fine. Mac attack. Brum. Let's do shield slam. We haven't shown that off yet. Keep it coming. Now let's do a double up. A lot of overcharge to charge up with that. Very nice. <laughs> Very close. Oh, that, that was a good shot. Holy crap. <laughs> So yeah, Braum can definitely be used as just an outright you damage strong, dealer. But have no heart. However, I would just recommend him as support because he excels far better in that. Well, both is good. You can do both. I feel like both can work out really well. Potion, potion, lustrous potion. Was Excuse me, I was checking what my potions were. I was fighting. Got lucky. There we go. Yes, like that. I'm really glad that there's just a speed up option because <laughs> this will make things a lot quicker on my end. Are there more enemies? No. Okay. There's random enemies that are just strewn about in the area, I guess. Stupid map. This stupid fucking map. I hate this map so much. It truly is one of the worst maps you can ever design in a video game. Because this whole area is underneath this section, and... <sighs> so terrible. That's a big-ass telescope. Starting the night during the day reveals the wild, warm sky above village water. That's a massive fucking telescope. Well, I mean... It looks more like a cannon than a telescope, to be honest. Okay. Another big telescope. A lot of telescopes around here. I guess that's... Pretty common for a navigator. 
Ban for business. Is that all the ban for business? Yes, that's all the ban for business. Do we have every lore bit? Apparently not, because we're missing one. Weird. Appears to be the only one we're missing. Okay. Maybe it's in here. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just missing forever. Who also knows? Alright, what do we got? There it is. Graham? Graham? What happened? Graham! Perhaps you did not adequate n adequate notice visitors are what? Just help me look around for clues. Chest. Let me alright. More chef. Why is that not on the map then? Oh we only oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's only on the map if we explore it. Okay. Cool. What do we got? Chair's been kicked over. Papers turned around. Are they looking for something? Blood on the bed. Not a lot. Also, there's drag marks leading from the bed to the window. Most of the cartographer tools and navigation maps are missing. Who would kidnap a navigator? Money and gem bags left untouched. They weren't here for money. To the window, eh? There's pry bar marks under the wooden... Pry bar marks under the wooden... Yeah, forced open from the outside. Front door looked fine. They must have dragged him outside through the window. Might be something on the other side of the window outside. Well, it's a good thing we were literally just out there that we didn't notice anything, apparently. <clears throat> oh, look, a thing that we could have not found before, I guess. A signet with a hook on it. I recognize it from the jagged hooks. Gangplank's gang. His former gang. They've been in disarray since he disappeared. There have been over overtures before, but this is open hostility. Perhaps understanding the motivation will give us an advantage. They haven't sent over a ransom, so I doubt that's it. Graham's the best navigator I have. I seriously doubt they'd really hurt him. He's too valuable to him. If they think they can just take him from me, they've got another thing coming. They can't keep him hostage. We're going to go and take him back. They've got to be holed up in their old warehouse. We'll take a gondola there. Let's go. All right. Can I can I go, please? Is there something else? No. Okay. Just stop me dead in my tracks. Okay. So I think. Yeah, I think this is a good stopping point. We pretty much got everything done in the Watchtower District. We don't have to really come back here at any point whatsoever. So next time on Ruined King, we are going to be heading to the Jagged Hooks Warehouse to see if we can save Graham. This is actually a well, really well put together episode. Hell yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys next time.